Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If it's your first time joining us on the channel, I would love to welcome you. Highly suggest you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and tick that little bell. Smash that thumbs up button while you're down there. Let us know we're doing a good job, and you don't want to miss any of our future videos just like this one. So this video today is going to be geared towards graphical settings. So if you're having pixelated issues with your clouds and want to know how to fix those, Stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. We went through several of these on a past video. I will go ahead and post a link down below how to get to this setting if you don't already know how to do so. So uh, there are a couple different settings uh, that we're going to change in the NVIDIA panel here. And most of those are right down on the bottom. Now, I'm not using global settings as I do not want to run my graphics card at full kilt all the time, even when I'm not using Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I've set it up so this way these settings will only take effect when I'm using the simulator. So the first couple settings that we need to change here are all the way at the bottom, and one is the power management mode. Everybody is familiar with that one. You need to switch that to prefer maximum performance. The second one is the texture filtering. I leave that in the off position. If you turn it on, it can help with your FPS, but it may give you some shimmering effects on items. And I had that problem, so I had turned it off. The next thing is the biggest thing. And if you really want to help with the pixelization of the clouds, then we need to turn this texture filtering negative LOD bias to clamp. So if you're using any anioscopic I believe that's how you say it, uh, filtering, then you want to make sure you turn that in the clamp mode. Next would be the texture filtering quality. So now after Sim Update 5, I played around with these settings and I was able to turn it to quality again. Uh, also, I have the texture filtering trilinear optimization in the on positioning and make sure that triple buffering is in the off. The last setting on here that I like to keep uh, was vertical sync. Sometimes I like to use it, sometimes I don't. So I like to put this in the 3D application setting. And those are my settings for an NVIDIA. The only couple other settings that I will show you are in the simulator itself. And under the options, under general, I will list all of my current settings. Again, I do use VSync and I have that set to 30 FPS and it does quite well for that. I am using 2K resolution, 2560 by 1440, and I am render scaling at 120%. Anti-aliasing, I am using a DLAA. Terrain level of detail, this is legitimate 200. I did not go into config and up it to the 300. I did try that and my main thread is not capable of keeping up with the GPU and it's barely able to keep up now. So um, as we go down here, uh, you can see all the rest of the settings. If you need to, you can go ahead and pause the video uh, to see that if I'm going too fast. But all these settings pretty much gave me the best simming performance here on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I hope this video helped you out in your flight simming experience. If it did, hit that thumbs up button and post a comment down below and let us know if it helped you or didn't. Or if you know some other settings to try, uh, we will go ahead and try that on the channel as well. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining us here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell to get notified on all of our future videos. As always, keep the blue side up and we will see you on the next one.